Have you guys ever wanted to have a cool looking score hood like this in your Minecraft Pokemon server? Well guys, you came to the right video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly that. So let's get right into it, guys. <laughs> So yo yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It is me, your boy, Techno T, and in today's video, I wanted to bring you guys a highly requested video. A lot of people early on asked me if I could do scoreboard. I never got the time to, and I actually had a video, in fact, actually going over this, but got scrapped due to technical issues. But anyway, this is the video on that, so hopefully you guys, if you guys do like what you guys see here, please hit that like button, and if you guys are new around here, it means the world to me if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So this is score hood. So as you can see, it gives you a little score interface on the side right there, and it basically will allow you to put any information up there, like the server name, you can actually add these for multiple worlds as well, and it's pretty cool. It's actually a pretty big plugin. I'm pretty sure if you go onto any huge network server, you might have seen one of these. So I actually wanted to go over this. This is the actual Pocket page. By the way, link will be down in the video description below. Of course, make sure you download the score hood, put it into your plugins folder, but the functionality won't work with just the score hood plugin. So first things first, if you're not able to make it work or it just doesn't work at all, you are going to need to make sure that you are using a PHP that is version 7.4 or greater. So if you're getting this sort of error, you wanna update to PHP 7.4. And of course, in order to actually make this functionable, you are going to need to click on where it says score hood X. Once you do that, it'll bring you to this GitHub page. Now don't feel frightened. Um, there are actually a few different stuff. So there's a few add-ons that you can add on to this plugin. So one's called basic score, which will allow you to show who's online, the player's name, and some basic stuff like that. And it tells you that you don't require any plugins other than the score hood one. So you don't need any other plugins other than the score hood and this guy. And this is the direct download link. So if you click here, it'll bring you over to the dev page and you can go ahead and click on where it says basic scoreboard build and then right here. And then you can actually just direct download and it'll give you a list of commands you can run through right here. There's a few more too. If you have the economy API, you can actually go ahead and download Eco API score. If you have the combat logger plugin, you can use combat score, faction pro score if you have factions pro. And if you have pure perms, you can use the pure perm score as well. And these will basically allow you to display up stuff that are from other plugins. So for the economy API, you can display how much money you have. For the factions API, you can list the amount of kills you have, the faction you're in. And each one of these are separate download links. But I'm just going to be covering over basic score because I think that's what most people are going to be using. Okay, so this is the server side on how to configure score hood. Now let's get right into it. So first things first, go ahead and go into the pocket mine folder. And of course, in your server, you need to go to your plugins and make sure you, of course, download the score hood by the link in the description or going to the pocket page directly. Once you go there, um, we actually do need some functionality built into the score hood. The score hood is just a blank slate because it does need the add ons. So how we're going to do that is basically we're going to go over here to features on the score hood page and we'll go ahead and click on score hood X. And then from here, it'll bring us to the score hood GitHub page. And then from here, we need to go ahead and add functionality for this. For this video, I'm just going to go over basic score. So I'm just going to go ahead and download. It'll basically give us our basic functionality of our scoreboard. So telling us how many players are online, what their names are. I'm just going to go ahead and add this. So I'm just going to do a direct download. It'll give us the far file. We're going to go ahead and drag that into our plugins folder. Now, if you add these add-ons, right here like basic score eco api score combat score if you add any one of these without the score hood dot far they will disable themselves so they won't work so make sure you do have the score hood dot far once you have those all dragged in you want to go ahead and run your server so i'm just going to do start dot cmd and once you've ran your server go ahead and type in stop perfect that's all we need because from there we can go to the plugin underscore data. So now we'll have two files. And then from here, the only one we actually care about is going to be the score hood. We're going to go ahead and click that. There's two files in score hood. There's a the config.yml and the score hood.yml. I'm going to go over what the config.yml. Basically, it'll ask you, hey, do you want scoreboards in multiple worlds? If so, change this value from false to true. If I only have one world, I'm going to keep it false. If you have multiple worlds and you want different scoreboards in each, then keep this to true. You'll notice that later on, if you don't have this set to true, and you try to add scoreboards to multiple worlds and then run your server, you'll notice that those scoreboards won't work. So make sure you have this set to true if you want multiple scoreboards in different worlds. And then of course, you can change your time and date format. This is just the time and date format. I'm just going to leave it as is. And once you have this edited to your heart's content, go ahead and save it. 
file, save it, and then just exit out whenever you're ready. And then from there, you're gonna go to the scorehood.yml. So this is where we can change the scorehood properties, guys. So right here, you can change the title flicker rate. You can change this from five to any value lower or any value greater. This is just the flicker rate of the title. I would just leave it at the default five. Next, it's gonna ask you for your server name. So we're just gonna go ahead and, so make sure you guys keep this little part right here, because this little part will actually allow you to have a strobing effect and will actually display the text. So don't get rid of that. And from here, just go ahead and change where it says server to whatever you want, as well as name to be whatever you want. Let me do that and I'll be back. There we go. I went ahead and changed it. You can add as many lines as you want here, because this will be how many times your thing will strobe through. I'm just gonna leave it at the default there. And I'll just go ahead and add add my server four times here. Give me a moment here, guys. And there we go, guys. I went ahead and changed that, so it'll have a nice strobing effect. The next thing that we want to change are the actual server body lines. Now, just for your reference, you can only have 15 lines at the maximum. It's because that's what Minecraft allows you to do, and that's the limitation of Minecraft Bedrock with this plugin, so just so you're aware. So right here, these this is the default scoreboard. You can change it up. Um, so this right here is just a message, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this to something like... Yeah, I went ahead and changed that to join the Discord. This will display how many people are online. This will display the player's name. Um, and then from here, these are these. If you guys are wondering what these little parentheses are, um, basically that's just the space in between these lines. I'll go ahead and add a line for ping. So all you simply want to do is let me go ahead and do this right here. We'll go ahead and add two little parens like that. And we'll go ahead and do this. And then what I like to do is I just like to copy and paste because uh, that is actually easier, believe it or not. Just so do copy and go over here and paste. And then we'll go ahead and change this. So we'll go ahead and change this right here. So instead of being the basic score dot max, I'll go ahead and change this to basic score dot ping. And then basically it will allow us to show the player's ping. And I'm going to change this from online to ping. Go ahead and save the file once you've made those changes right there and the way that i know which command i want to use here is if you go over here to the basic score list of stuff that you can use on the config.yml once you have the basic score hood loaded now if you do have multiple worlds that you want to add scoreboards in if you do have that enabled in the config like i said earlier you can add in the world name so right now this is just an example but this is just the world name and then you have the lines this would be line one, line two. Um, these won't show up because I do not have multiple worlds enabled. So if you do have multiple worlds enabled, you can change this to your heart's content. But yeah, that's basically just how to do that. Let's hop into the server and see how it looks. And when that's all said and done, guys, and when you guys join your server, you guys will notice this right here. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think? This is the scoreboard and it looks pretty good. You know, I must admit we can get rid of some of those spaces there to kind of put it all together so it's not like crowding the whole screen but it's there you can see the message that I put you can see the ping that we added and the default lines which are the name and online you can go ahead and change that I just left it there and of course techno nation up at the top there so yeah this is how you use the score hood plugin and there's a whole lot of other add-ons you can add so you can use it with the factions pros or the economy API so yeah it's pretty neat I just want to take a quick look at this thing because I know a lot of people were requesting that hey techno tiger why don't you take a look at it it's a pretty neat little plugin and it is guys so yeah this is the score hood and in true plugin review fashion let me just say i think this is a 10 out of 10 plugin it's not only easy to use but it's amazing to get on your server so yeah um but with that being said guys if you guys do have any other further questions for me feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and as always guys remember to stay fierce and hit that subscribe button too see you guys